Please be seated. Well, honourable members, elect and guests, uh, it's uh, wonderful to see you here. I extend a warm welcome to our successful candidates and their guests today for the swearing in of the members of the Legislative Council for the 41st Parliament. The Constitution Act requires members of the Legislature to take an oath or affirmation of office before the Governor or some person authorised by the Governor before they can sit or vote as a Member of Parliament. I take great pleasure in conducting this absolutely essential ceremony. I note that several members elect will be commencing their roles as parliamentarians for the first time, and others have been returned by their communities to continue their parliamentary service. I congratulate all of you on your success in being elected to the Legislative Council, the only chamber I ever really wanted to serve in and never made it. <laughs> the proceedings today will commence with the reading of the writ for the first electoral region and the names of those elected. Members elect will then be escorted to the table of the House by the Usher of the Black Rod to take the oath or affirmation of office and sign the member's roll. Members will be sworn by region and in the order in which they were elected. I will conclude the proceedings once all members present have taken either the oath or affirmation and taken their seats. Well, I'll now commence the swearing in of members. I, Darren West, sincerely declare and affirm that I will faithfully serve the people of Western Australia as a member of the Legislative Council. Well, we both sit down and you sign. Okay. And I sign. I, Colin de Grasse, sincerely declare and affirm that I will faithfully serve the people of Western Australia as a member of the Legislative Council.
I, Shelley Nicole Payne, sincerely declare and affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors according to law, and will faithfully serve the people of Western Australia as a member of the Legislative Council. I, Sandra Ankar, sincerely declare and affirm that I will faithfully serve the people of Western Australia as a member of the Legislative Council. I, Stephen John Martin, sincerely declare and affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors, according to law, and will faithfully serve the people of Western Australia as a member of the Legislative Council. You know, mate, I thought I had a bad scroll until I saw <laughs> <laughs> I, Martin Aldridge, sincerely declare and affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors, according to law, and will faithfully serve the people of Western Australia as a member of the Legislative Council. I, Alana Clossy, sincerely declare and affirm that I will faithfully serve the people of Western Australia as a member of the Legislative Council. Thank <laughs> you. 
I, Samantha Helen Rowe, sincerely declare and affirm that I will faithfully serve the people of Western Australia as a member of the Legislative Council. Dean Swinbourne sincerely declare and affirm that I will faithfully serve the people of Western Australia as a member of the Legislative Council. Well, mate, I haven't been, so I wouldn't worry about it. That's a good one. Elizabeth Harper sincerely declare and affirm that I will faithfully serve the people of Western Australia as a member of the Legislative Council. Donna Farragut, swear by Almighty God that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty the Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors, according to law, and will faithfully serve the people of Western Australia as a member of the Legislative Council. I, Brian Follett Walker, swear by Almighty God that I will faithfully serve the people of Western Australia as a member of the Legislative Council. Mining and Pastoral Region, Stephen Noel Dawson, Cole Owen McGinn, Peter Allen Foster, Rosetta Maria Sahana, Wilson Robert Tucker, Neil David Thompson.
I, Stephen Dawson, sincerely declare and affirm that I will faithfully serve the people of Western Australia as a member of the Legislative Council. I, Kyle Owen McGinn, sincerely declare and affirm that I will faithfully serve the people of Western Australia as a member of the Legislative Council. I, Peter Allen Foster, sincerely declare and affirm that I will faithfully serve the people of Western Australia as a member of the Legislative Council. I, Rosetta Marie Sahanas, sincerely declare and affirm that I will faithfully serve the people of West Australia as a member of the Legislative Council. Also, Robert Tucker, sincerely declare and affirm that I will faithfully serve the people of Western Australia as a member of the Legislative Council. I, Neil David Thompson, sincerely declare and affirm that I will faithfully serve the people of Western Australia as a member of the Legislative Council. Thank <laughs> you. 
North Metropolitan Region, Pierre Shuai Yang, Peter Charles Collier, Martin Brian Pritchard, Ayor McCaw Chuot, Daniel Caddy, Tuorn Dirk Sidma. I, Pierre Shuai Yang, swear by Almighty God that I will peacefully serve the people of Western Australia as a member of the Legislative Council. Peter Collier, swear by Almighty God that I will be faithful and true, uh, bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors according to law, who will faithfully serve the people of Western Australia as member of the Legislative Council. I, Martin Pritchard, swear by Almighty God that I will faithfully serve the people of Western Australia as a member of the Legislative Council. Well, I'll shake your hand anyway. <laughs> I, Daniel Caddy, sincerely declare and affirm that I will faithfully serve the people of Western Australia as a member of the Legislative Council.
I, Jorn Dirk Sidmus, swear by Almighty God that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors according to law, and will faithfully serve the people of Western Australia as a member of the Legislative Council. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh shake your hand personally. There you go. <laughs> yeah. South Metropolitan Region, Suzanne Mary Ellery, Nicholas Pierre Guerin, Catherine Esther Doust, Clara Andrich, Stephen Pratt, Bradley William Pettit. I, Sue Ellery, sincerely declare and affirm that I will faithfully serve the people of Western Australia as a member of the Legislative Council. Swear by Almighty God that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors according to law, and will faithfully serve the people of Western Australia as a member of the Legislative Council. Catherine Esther Dowse, swear by Almighty God that I will faithfully serve the people of Western Australia as a member of the Legislative Council. Please. No. <laughs> Sorry. Show your hands Clara Andrich sincerely declare and affirm that I will faithfully serve the people of Western Australia as a member of the Legislative Council. I, Stephen Pratt, sincerely declare and affirm that I will faithfully serve the people of Western Australia as a member of the Legislative Council.
I, Brad Pettit, sincerely declare and affirm that I will faithfully serve the people of Western Australia as a member of the Legislative Council. Southwest Region, Sally Elizabeth Talbot, Stephen Caldwell Thomas, Alana Joan Geraldine McTiernan, Jacqueline Jarvis, Sophia Mormond, James Doran Hayward. Sally Elizabeth Talbot sincerely declare and affirm that I will faithfully serve the people of Western Australia as a member of the Legislative Council. I, Dr Stephen Caldwell Thomas, sincerely declare and affirm that I will faithfully serve the people of Western Australia as a member of the Legislative Council. Alana McTiernan sincerely declare and affirm that I will faithfully serve the people of Western Australia as a member of the Legislative Council. Jacqueline Ann Jarvis sincerely declare and affirm that I will faithfully serve the people of Western Australia as a member of the Legislative Council. Sophia Mormont sincerely declare and affirm that I will faithfully serve the people of Western Australia as a member of the Legislative Council. Thank <laughs> you. 
see. Well, I'm beginning to get right as cream. <laughs> I, James Doran Haywood, swear by Almighty God that I'll be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors, according to the law, and will faithfully serve the people of Western Australia as a member of the Legislative Council. Glasses again, yeah. Well, honourable members of the council, we have now completed the process required by section 2020, 2022 of the constitution. I um, have to say, I, I'm reminded as I survey you all as you come in to uh, sign and shake my hand of what a very good old friend of mine, a bloke named Mick Young, dead now, but he used to say, Whenever he came into the caucus after an election was over, rules of politics, fellas, he'd say, never complain, never explain, but when the election train moves out, make sure you're on it, even if it's only in the guards' van. So this is a much more august body than the guards' van, I absolutely am certain, but uh, this is... Uh, I know when it was applicable to me, this was a moment of great excitement never changed. All the times I was elected, it never changed. It was just pure delight, this moment, when we get sworn in as members of parliament in Canberra. Well, congratulations on becoming members of the parliament of Western Australia. It's a moment that reflects a great achievement by you all. It is a reaffirmation of our democracy. The efficacy of this system is challenged by many around the globe and some in this country. Whatever their surface rationale, underlying it is a motive to secure a licence to corrupt and oppress, or a mind in the grip of an illusory conspiracy theory. You, in everything you do, you are in the front line of the defence of our democracy. So I pay you enormous respect I know the burdens that are on your shoulders as a result of that. These are very significant responsibility that every member of the chamber carries. The 04 formation that you took this morning confirms your commitment to faithfully serve all the people of Western Australia. For 17 of you, this is the first occasion on which you have made that solemn promise in this house and I extend my particular congratulations to you. Others have today renewed a commitment of service previously given and honoured. Collectively, you provide this House with a broad range of prior experiences, interests and expertise. And that's one of the real strengths of our parliamentary institutions. Although you have differing allegiances to the parties to which you belong, by the promise you have all made this morning, you are united in your allegiance to the people of Western Australia. And I actually have come to know over the last three years quite a lot of you from both sides of this House, and I know what honourable and effective people you are. This state is well served uh, by your presence here. This promise which unites you will lead to many objectives and values which are shared and probably fewer matters of difference. The people of our wonderful state will be well served by parliamentary representatives who work in their interests and work together to continue to improve this state. I wish you well in your deliberations during the 41st Parliament. Now, honourable members, ladies and gentlemen, 
That now concludes formalities for the swearing in of members of the Legislative Council, so thank you for your forbearance. But you've got to stay in your places, because I think Francis up there is going to take a photograph of us all, and we need to, we need to look impressive and serious. <laughs> Last 20. <laughs> right. Okay, I think that's it. That's a lot. Well, see you out there. <laughs>